What is up guys? This is a continuation from last time. In the previous video we learned how to draw perfect cubes in perspective. And I alluded to the fact that you can use cubes to draw much more complicated uh, designs. And that's what we're going to delve into today. So we're starting back with our cube here. And we're going to use one of the techniques that I showed you in a previous video to copy this cube uh, about four more times going into the distance. Okay, there we go. Now we've got four perfect cubes in perspective standing next to each other. And we're going to take a pause here. I'm just going to go in make these boxes look a little prettier, basically make them all the same color as this original one. Okay, we're back. So as you can see, everything's the same color, and now we got some friends. So four squares to coincide with our four cubes, and this is where we start to get into the fun stuff. So let's say you're not drawing something that's perfectly square on all sides. Let's say you're drawing, if you're uh, into 3D modeling, you might call this a spline. But basically it's just a freeform curve. Now if you were to try to do this in perspective, this could be kind of a challenge because now you've got all these curves to work with. But using our cube method, it's actually not that bad. Um, basically it, it goes like this. You start by looking at this point here since it touches the side of one of our cubes. And this is more or less at the halfway point. So we know how to draw halfway points. We just go into our perspective mode. Actually, we'll use the ruler first. And we need, we now need a line that cuts across the middle. And let's see, let's do purple, that's a nice color. So we need a line there. And we need a line there. And then we switch over to perspective mode. And boom right there that is the point where this point needs to be and we take another look and we say okay well if we look at where this line at where the orange line crosses the black line here we can see that it's just slightly above the halfway point between the midpoints on here right because like this is basically half and this is right at about here would be a quarter. So it's just slightly above that. So we can do, we can divide this cube again. So then we get our ruler back out. Switch over to perspective mode. And there we go. Now we have two points that mark where the orange line is going to end up being and we just keep going along the line. So we go to the next line and okay, now it's slightly below that one quarter in, that one quarter proportion mark. So we wash, rinse, and repeat. We need to bisect our cube, which actually, now that I think about it, we have a line here that does that for us, so we must just carry this back. There we go. So we split this into force again. And I'll just carry this one back all the way to just to save me some time. And so we know that from this part, so we've got a point, we've got a point here, we've got a point, let's say it's right about there. Now we've got a point right about there. So I think you can see where this is going we're basically, in order to draw this spline in perspective, we're just going to connect the dots. And now we need a point to use that's on the lower half of our drawing. Okay, so we're looking just slightly under, under, under the halfway point. So you can approximate that right about there. And just to check on where this guy ends up, just slightly above the halfway point. Okay, now I'll grab the eyedropper tool and I want to grab this color again, just to be consistent. 
gonna go into a new layer and now we get to our approximation let's see I think it needs to have a bit more of a flip up like that now if we hide the purple you can see that we've got more or less an approximation of this spline drawn in perspective. So from here you can just start scaling this technique up. Um, you can do it in three dimensions, um, me meaning that you could, let's say that from the side, like if we were to look at this side of the spline, it does something like that. You can do the same thing, you just start plotting points along these faces going back towards its horizon point. So this technique scales up pretty easily and it's a good way to approximate uh, more organic or complicated shapes using cubes as a basis. And really that's, that's kind of what your computer does for calculating where it's supposed to draw lines because it's basically doing the same thing whenever it's looking at a pixel. It's not a true curve, it's just approximating a curve, doing something very similar to what we just did now, using perspective to make it look like it's a three-dimensional shape. But in a future video, we'll be using this plus the previous techniques I've shown so far in my videos to draw something a lot more interesting. So, hope you'll stay tuned for that. And if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell for future notifications of future uploads, and this is Oddjob Entertainment signing off.